Uh, did Mary bury bodies here? Because I feel like I'm gonna probably dig up a body, aren't I? Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my ugly pawn shop in Barn Finders. Today, we're gonna get out there, sell some stuff again, and I think we're gonna be doing an auction today, because it tends to go back and forth between trying to pick stuff and doing auctions. Now, I thought we would sell some stuff real quick here, the stuff that we got in the last episode. There's a lot of stuff I have to fix, but some of this is worth a lot. Like, the Red Passion here is worth 500 bucks. Uh, I think that's the highest one. This would be the second highest. Yeah, 465. So, yeah, I'm gonna repair these real quick. Now, I'm gonna throw that back in the storage container because there's actually an easier way to sell things. Let me, do I have this one? Um, no, let's equip the upgrade tool. 265 bucks, hopefully it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I figured out that you don't have to go all the way and bring stuff in here. You basically can just replenish. Oh, I have a toilet in the inventory as well, clearly. Okay, well, I guess I'll buy this one as well. But yeah, you can just right-click and auto-stack stuff, which is really, really easy. Like, it does whole shelves here, which I already did. So we got a bunch of stuff we can sell. I'm hoping by the end of today, this place won't be so damn ugly because, well, I mean, it's a pawn shop right now, but it's a very, very ugly one. As you can probably tell. All right, so let's open up for business. As people come, I'm going to uh, be repairing these things as well. And I'm going to need a lot of money today because we have a storage auction to do. Oh, man, we already don't have enough resources. Okay, so I'm going to have to go get some more resources maybe. Um, what do you want? Ooh, the big shelf. All right, let's see if we can sell for a little bit more. There we go. 312 bucks. Yeah, I'll sell that for that dude. And ooh, I didn't even notice you over here. 550 plus 50 already. We have two haggle chances. I am so bad at haggling, guys. Okay, she just really wants this anyways. Come on. That's a little better. All right. I think I'll accept it for 600. The great thing about this game is you can actually destroy your own stuff to get resources. So, yep, just going to destroy everything. And hopefully I can find some metal around here. I haven't been getting lucky with the metal. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, give me it. That's more like it. All right, let's go get that golden um, toilet paper. I've been running around like crazy as I sell stuff, and I figured out that I don't know if this is the intentional way to get up. <laughs> I can get up to the roof. God damn it. But yeah, if you crouch jump, you can actually get up here, and finally I can stop hearing this damn thing and grab it. Okay, golden paper, baby. All right, and I think we sold everything. Um, We have... A couple that need assembly still, but we got 2,728 in the bank now, so a pretty good day of selling if I do say so myself. Let's finally get out there and uh, go check out the next email. They want Old Bear Jackson. Something about Guru Lady Mary. After years of disappearance, her house is now empty for years. Now Miko owns it. If you win the special event, would you sell me the old clock? I mean, sure. For 380 bucks, I definitely will. If you find it, of course. By the way, buy yourself a lock picker. Now, I already have the lock picker, so that's good. So, yeah, this is definitely um, a bidding war. Now, it says 2,500 plus. That probably means I need... I just got over 2,500. Should I go and try and do it? Problem is, I, I think I need to pay for gas as well. Yeah, it's going to cost me 150 in gas. So, maybe I should go back to one of the older places and uh, sell a little bit more. That being said, I did collect some stuff around here. I might be able to repair. Yeah, you know what? Let's just actually go back to one of the older places. Uh, so you can replay the places. I'll obviously just edit this out. Um, but I do need to get some more items because I need a little bit more money in the bank. Okay, well, bad news. Uh, there's only a few items when you come back. We got them all, though. I think I got five total, but I got lots of loot anyway, so it's all good. And I should be able to repair the rest of my items with the loot that I grabbed, so... Yeah, I mean, at least you have the option to get a few more items when you come back to these places, and I did miss a few collectibles, so it was definitely worth it. Okay, and after a day of selling, I feel a little more confident now with 3,500 in the bank. Let's finally get out there. Um, am I supposed to accept the email again? No, I have to go to Barn Hub and buy it first. That would make sense. All right, hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully we win this auction, because it's 150 bucks I won't give back. Okay, and there it is. The giant house. So yeah, we got all the people here. Of course, my uncle's on the roof of the neighbor's house, so that's fantastic. How's it going, everybody? This place is dead. Where is everybody? I don't want anybody here. The less competition, the better. Can I? Yeah, of course I can break these. Let's, let's do that first. Can I just go into Mary's house before I even buy it? Because that would be fantastic. Oh, something blocks the door, but I can get a sneak peek to see how much it's worth. I'm going to say not much. 
Not, not much indeed. All right, didn't find much about some stuff to uh, gain a little bit of money, but not much at all. So let's go to the bidding guy. Oh, I didn't even notice these here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I am totally ready now. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my time. Let these guys do the bidding, and I'll, I'll hopefully take it at the end. All right, they pushed it up to ooh 1950. I'm getting a little nervous now. We're getting close to my budget. Oh Jesus! Of course, I have to bid either 250 or 500 now. All right, here we go. Let's throw it in at 26. Please tell me we're not gonna have a rebid because I don't know if I can afford any more bids. Okay, there we go. As I assumed, I don't think I would have had enough if I didn't go back to that first place. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't come here first. Okay. But I just bought this house. Hopefully it was worth it. There better be some big ticket items in here because it was a lot more expensive than the other ones. All right, I gotta say I'm a little creeped out. I mean, the last place we went to was a horrifying place. This place could be as well. Love how I can't sell the fridges in this game, by the way. What is this? Um, something, the local woman claims the aliens gave her a roadster. It's all about the aliens in this game, man. Okay, there we go. We got our first item. Don't know how much it's worth. Don't really care until we get back and figure everything out. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. The first room has netted me almost nothing. And as you can see, this this whole house is just barren. So, wouldn't it be weird if you could definitely, if you could like lose money on these? I mean, this is all my money, so I better not be able to lose money. All right, looks like that's locked. So I gotta find a key somewhere. Uh-oh, what the hell? Oh my god, I actually have to lock pick. Uh, move the pins in the correct order to open the lock. How am I supposed to know the order? Okay, green. Okay, obviously. Okay, it's a lot easier than I thought. There we go. Damn. That was really easy. Oh yeah, I like the look of that. Looks like we got a new vehicle. Before we grab that though, let's make sure there's nothing in these. It's, it's, it's always a good day when you get a vehicle. That should hopefully be the majority of what I paid right there. Oh my god. It's the actual vehicle that we saw that the Mary got it from the aliens. So there we go. Collectibles as well. That's always good. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how much that's going to be worth. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. We got some antiques here. Antiques always sell. What the hell is this thing? San Harry. I guess I could click them to see how much they're worth. Thirteen forty-five. Not bad. Well, that's a choice of a poster for right above the pisser. Um, Nashville, nineteen seventy-two. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this game is weird if you haven't noticed. Okay, and that should be it for the bottom floor. So, didn't get too much yet, but with that car, I think we're doing okay. Um, who the hell is that? There's so much graffiti in here, as you can see. It's, I, I was looking at it, and it's obviously quite detailed as well. There's probably a lot of hidden secrets here, like UFOs. Why? I don't know who this lady is, but okay. Um... Oh, would you look at that? We got a nice chair there. That's worth quite a bit. Um, anything? Where the hell is the key at? I mean, we have to be getting close. There's only going to be so many more rooms. Oh, n another lockpick. Okay, which one? There we go. Dude, I'm a lockpicking master. <laughs> ah, an old PC. Okay, can we sell the mouse as well? Of course we can. Oh, it's this lady. Oh, it's Mary! This, okay, she... Going deeper into the storyline, clearly. I, I hear the golden poo as well. Is it out here? Can I get out here? Well, now I'm getting nervous because there's nowhere else to go and I still haven't found the key. Is it in the one drawer I didn't open? Hmm. All right, well, we'll have to retrace our tracks and see if we can find this thing because obviously the point is to get it. All right, there's gotta be a way. There's obviously a, a room here, um, just judging by the wall formation. And you can hear, if you listen to the side, there is definitely some golden poo in there. Now, I've tried to break this like a million times. I, that would be what I assume is the easiest way. Now I'm thinking maybe there's a secret door. I've looked in the roof for an attic. Doesn't look like there's any around. So this is actually really difficult. Are you, are you serious? I, I have been looking for so long once again and they were just chilling on the wall. It's. It's hard to see these little things sometimes, damn it. Oh, I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we got the key. How do I get in this room? The whole time I was looking for an access point to this room, assuming I didn't have the keys until they were in that room. Only for them to be on the freaking wall. Okay. Well, here we are in the backyard, <laughs> guys. That took forever. Seriously, how do we get up to that room, though? This is gonna bother me. It's, you can definitely get into it. It's gotta be somewhere here. Okay, we gotta see, wait. 
We have a seesaw. There's also a la There's a ladder. So I gotta drop something on the seesaw? Okay, I think I'm overthinking this, guys. <laughs> I could just jump up to it by moving the seesaw. Here I am thinking I needed to be, be a freaking acrobat to get up here. No, it was much easier than that. Okay, well, we're up here now. I'm assuming the golden toilet paper is somewhere in here. And we still haven't done all of the bottom either. What the housewife mannequin? All right, this game is weird. Oh, there's the, I totally forgot we need to get the clock. So how do I get the, the golden poo? Oh, damn it, I thought I'd be here. Uh, did Mary bury bodies here? Because I feel like I'm gonna probably dig up a body, aren't I? Or a golden thing, the final fish. I, I don't even know what that means, but okay. And we also got, ooh, scarlet boar. A nice necklace there, that's good. Also hot foot. What is that? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah! All right, well, we got all items except for the golden paper. Man, the annoying part is I can hear it, so there's gotta be a way to get it. Wait, the hell is... I was looking so long on this one, thinking that'd be the door. I knew it'd be a freaking door, too. But it was over on this side of the freaking room. So, that's amazing. What the hell? This ain't creepy at all now, is it? Okay. Thanks. Why can't I sell this? I feel like somebody would buy this. Okay, I didn't even get any items for it. Okay, I think I, think I got everything, guys. What the hell was that? It only plays in here. What is this room? There's like no ceiling. <laughs> Why do I even question it in this game? Okay, well, that was traumatizing. Let's get the hell out of here and see how we did today. Because I feel like it was actually a pretty good day at good old Mary's house. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's going to be a nice car. Hopefully, it'll be worth quite a bit. I think it was like 1300 or something like that. Look at that. We actually got perfect for once. Oh, thank God. Okay, and there we go. Mary's clock is gone to a new home now, old Bear Jackson. So that's great. Let's also stock these shelves with all the great goodies that we found today. Um, and we're gonna have to repair some of this stuff, obviously, too, but it looks like there's a lot of items that are, are automatically done. Wow, we can actually almost fully stock the damn so store. Vintage 1980s portable electric washing machine. Okay, I was wondering what the hell this thing was. Clearly, I, I had no idea. So, we found some weird items today. Now, there's one item that I actually need to do something with. I don't know if it's possessed or what. Um, what does it say I need to do? It doesn't really say much. It's just big and... Oh, it's dirty. Oh, God, I didn't even read that. Okay, so we just got to clean this sucker off, and then we should be good. Ah, there we go. It's nice and clean now. Now, I don't know if I have any more spaces, so you know what? If I don't, I'll just put it here, because it looks kind of nice, I gotta say, compared to the rest of the stuff. Okay, but it's selling time once again. Let's see how much money we earn today after uh, dealing with all those fees and whatnot. Also, let's see what what else we have to do. Lake House trip, Bid Wars bull event. Interesting, so I have options now. I think I'll wait for that. Um, I want to earn some money. I really want to upgrade this place, but I'm also worried about the bidding auctions. Like, I it used almost all my money today, so... I don't know how hard it's going to be. Hopefully, we can get some good customers today and gain a lot of money. Well, starting off strong, this lady seems to be cool with... The oh, God, now she's mad. Come on. Oh, that wasn't bad considering the speed. Plus 30, so 436 for a store price of 301. Hell yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, Mr. Alien Man wants the car. Finally, somebody's interested in this. Oh, come on. Oh, that's great. Plus 336. I can still haggle once. He's a little bit finicky, the the, the Alien Man. Ah. Unfortunately, I really wish it was somebody who was more giving. But still, 1816. Considering I did so good the first one, I think we'll sell that. And now we're almost at five grand. Uh, we got five items left, so not too bad. Now, you might be curious what these puzzle items are. Um, we're supposed to slowly find these throughout the um, levels. I don't have a full set yet. I have been looking, because there is some crazy stuff you can assemble in here. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them, though. I'm close to the computer. I just need the keyboard, I think. Uh, that's the only one I'm really close at, but there's, like, whole humans in here. This thing, which I have part of, I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> I gotta assume those items are worth quite a bit. Okay, and there is the final item gone. So not too bad, 5,000 bucks now. So we earned a couple grand today at least. Now I'm gonna go to my emails and make sure what the hell is this? Okay, so we got a metal detector. So it doesn't look like that's a storage auction. It looks like we can either do that or your reward fame. The bid wars. Here you'll be able to show off your skill, keen eye. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's actually bid wars as well. I just wanted to make sure the next auction wasn't a, uh, a bid war. I definitely, I think, will get the metal detector first. So we're going to spend some money upgrading the shop because now I should be able to. Uh, that's, that's really, you know what? That might bring in the people. This actually reminds me of, like, PewDiePie. I think it's his colors. Or I could do just princess. No, you know what? Let's go for something, you know, inviting but normal looking. All right, I think I'm just gonna do the green walls. So it's rather cheap right now. We don't need to go crazy. I need to buy all these things anyways. And these can get pricey, as you can see, if we do get the really fancy ones. I'm not gonna go for that just yet. Jesus, $1,000 for one item. Let's go, let's just go for metal for right now, and we should be able to upgrade these as well. We're getting to the point where we should show off the place a little bit. I better slow down a little bit here, though, because I'm going to spend all my money. Oh, I just want to finish up these ones. There we go. Now, can I do the floors as well? No, I guess that's just the walls. You can't change the floor color? Maybe I have to get something later. Is it on this side? Oh, it is. Ah, oh, okay. Let's follow the greens, kind of. Maybe get some nice tile in here. That's... Wait, I can't... Why would you do this? I can't even look at the floor while I'm buying it. Yeah, you know what? I actually like this tile. Of course, it's one of the most expensive ones. We're just gonna accept our fate that I just spent all my money. Can I do the roof? I didn't even think about that. Um, also, I should be able to change the posters. Yeah, there we go. I haven't done that yet, either. Of course, we need a, ho a horse talking about beer, of course. Um, can I change those ones? I guess I can't change those ones. I think that's it. I gotta say, it's looking a hell of a lot better than it did at the start, though. So, yeah, on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bar Finders. In the next one, uh, we probably won't be doing a storage auction. We'll be going back to some sort of house, it sounds like, that the guy wants me to go to. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>